Huh? <laughs> Why did you take so long? I had to wait until my mother went to sleep before I can sneak out. I had something fun first. What do you have? Let's set on fire Chrysler and call cars in this whole town. Yes! Setting off fireworks and cars in disorder are illegal. <laughs> How are worried? Hmm. Goodbye. Bye. <sighs> oh no! You're forbidden from hanging out with bad friends. From now on, focus on studying. What do you know about my friends? I don't need to agree with the unreasonable band. I will eat stone cameras if you don't listen to me. <sighs> huh? Why do you look so bored? My mom doesn't let me play with you. She even threatened to install a camera to watch me. <gasps> Saints and my mom, do you have any good ideas? Should we run away? But where can we go? <laughs> After school, I will bring you to see a person. Who is that? You will know when you meet him. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Wow! Hey! Huh? Let me introduce. This is Jack and his team. He's a vlog creator on social networks. Hello! <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Jack. This is Pony, my best friend. She wanna join our team. Sounds great. Follow me to the office. Let's go! I'm about to film a new challenge. You guys can take a look. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Hello! A lot of people are sending money and gifts to us! <laughs> Could you let us do the challenge? Of course, you can! What's up? What happened? My daughter, she disappeared three days already. Did she go to school? Her school just called me and has announced her assess for three days now. Okay. Let's go!
Hey! I have new ideas for tomorrow. Does anyone want to join? Of course, I do. We always support you. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh no! Let's go! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. I have to cast these vandals. Why did you have him today? I think we are gonna be overboard. You mm. decided to die our team. You have to accept our rules. Take his stride. I got it. From the day you joined our team, you did not have any contribution. Pony, it's time for you now. <laughs> I already prepared a game for tomorrow. Everyone get ready. No problem, this will be fun. Let's go! for disturbing the peace and trying property. Not you, you are the girl who helped me that day. It's you. The mother has accepted the compasses of damage. You will be guaranteed. Jax and Ada will be persecuted for disturbing the peace. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> <Hi>. <sighs> Do you know how much I worry about you? I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> From tomorrow, you two back to school, study hard, and be good, know it? Yes! yes. Remember not to gather and call vandalism anymore. Yes, I remember now, Mum. Bye!
I like sand. I like sea. <laughs> I like Susie. <Susie's>. <laughs> who are driving too fast. Huh? Wow! <laughs> Let's go! My son. Yay! Thanks, Dad. So sad. My friends bully me because I'm poor. Boy, do you want to live a rich life? What do you mean? Follow me. Okay. Wow. Time to eat. Mmm, yummy. Do you want to stay here? Do you live here alone? I had a son, but he died in an accident. If you like, you can stay here with me. Hmm. But my father will be very worried about me. I talked to your dad. Your dad is Joan, right? Do you know my father? Yes. <laughs> then I stay here. <laughs> Huh? Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's invite your friend to our house today. Yes. Bye. Okay. Hello. Hey, what did man mean to you? That's my fault and father. Huh? Really? If you don't believe me, I invite you to my house after school. Yay! Hiya! son have left home scene yesterday? Upset everywhere, but I can't find him anywhere. Hmm. Have you gone to the boys' school yet? Hmm. Oh no! <sighs> Did you go back to school to search today? I went to school to search. The teacher said he had left. The score informed me that the boy was still going to school today. But when I went to check, it was late and he had already left. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on? Hmm. My son had been kidnapped. You guys should go find him now. Please come down. How much money do you need? You have to find the boy for me. Stop him. Edmund Kemper, what are you doing here? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Your son let the kid into trap. Bring these two to the question room for me. If you guys keep causing trouble here, we will have to temporarily bring you two into jail. My son have been kidnapped by his son. I don't understand what you mean. Camera a score and show David what leading the children into a stray man car. David had been missing since yesterday. Okay, maybe the kids were just hanging out somewhere. The children have been kidnapped. Are you sure? Did you receive any blackmail calls? No, but you need to find my son as soon as possible. Please calm down. If you have any new information, report it to the police immediately. You back, you die here for sure. There are so many cases of child kidnapping recently. We have been following this for a long time. We have information about the suspect, but don't have enough evidence. Who is the suspect? Jack Crawford, 27 years old, who specializes in pretending to be a suspectful person to lure children. Let's organize a lost skill search before the children get in danger. Oh, 
Being a red. Oh no. Buddy, Daddy is okay. I paid all the bills. Please take good care of yourself. Thank you. It's all my fault. I didn't tell the police when I want blackmail. I'm sorry. Let me friend from now on. <laughs> Luckily, nothing bad happened. The kidnapper went take a big punishment. Goodbye. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> um, you have to pay money first. Huh? Okay. <laughs> you have been arrest for illegal prostitution. <laughs> I want to go to this bathroom. Can you stop for a bit? Hmm. Okay. Thank you. You have one minute to solve the problem. Okay. That cannot stop her from being caught. <laughs> oh. 
you want to know the truth, come back to the bar tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Okay, mm. let me see what you can do. Huh. Goodbye. Bye. Do you know what's happening with him? Recently, mm. the maintenance was sent to investigate an illegal prostitution case. He won't properly be able to sell them. Oh. Mm. I can have the evening more romantic, honey. Mm. Huh? Hello? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no! How do you think the police could react when they see these photos? Let me go. Bye-bye! Ah! <laughs> hmm. 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 Get into the dome syndrome, please. He wanna talk with you. Okay. Hello. What happened? Can you explain to me what is happening? Hmm. I don't know what to say. It's a chart that Dagana says for me. I hmm. think you should take some time off. Yes. <sighs> I will make you pay for what you did. Oh no! Huh? You are so sad to in the revenge. Now you can take me away. I have nowhere else to go. I didn't do this! I know it's hard to plan to you! You can come and stay in my house temporarily! Yes! Finally, what happened to my house and my daughter? The husband and his team set the fire! I, I soon discovered that when I came to fire you, I went in to save Pony! <laughs> It turned out to be him. What mm. happened with the family? Nothing. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Wow. I want to thank you for having me and my daughter. <laughs> Why did you choose to stop? My ex-husband put me in the debt, and as a single mom, I didn't have choice. <sighs> Maybe you won't believe me, but you are my first customer. <laughs> Don't cry! <laughs> huh? What happened? What are you doing in my house? Let them out immediately! <laughs> she owes money, but she does run away. <laughs> I will repay the that for her. Work for me a minute. Okay.
You did a great job with Katsuka organizing prostitution. Just. <laughs> Remember, reputation comes hurt. <laughs> Thank you. What about you and that girl? I plan to confess my love to her today, also on Valentine's Day. Good luck. <laughs> huh? Oh no! You! What happened? What is this? Hmm. I don't want to ruin the life. Congratulations on getting back to work. Thank you for everything. Do you know where she went? Definitely the airport. I have her seen she had the plan tickets in her room. What are you waiting for? Get to the airport. Okay. You two can't go inside. Okay. <laughs> please, let me meet her. Oh, no. Please, <laughs> please. Oh. That girl is wanted criminal. Please keep her and hand her over to us. Okay. What are you doing here? Please listen. I don't care about the past. I'm ready to build the future with you. Huh? Are you willing to let me get into life? Take care of you and the daughter? Yes, I agree. <laughs> Miss Noble Guest, let's clean up quickly to get home early for New Year Eve, everyone. Have you closed the restaurant yet? After cleaning, I will close the door. Yay! <laughs> Hi. Why are you here? I came to get the money you owe me. Huh? You are a freaking scammer. If you don't go away, we would call the police. Why are you here? I'm the owner of this restaurant from now on. The big your family has really sold the restaurant to you? Yes, they moved away. Do you know how to cook? You should try many with hamburger recipe. Yes! I have one too. <laughs> okay, coming right up. Mm, What's going on? Where's Ray Mignell? Who are you? I'm the ingredient supplier for restaurant. I'm Palm Wicked, new owner of the restaurant. Where did the McNeil family go? They sold me the restaurant and left. Bye bye! <laughs> Are you sure? Ray's never told me this. Come back in the evening. I will work with you. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, where did the Mignia family go? You haven't had dinner yet, have you? Here, try my new hamburger recipe. I told you the McNeil family had moved out. What about that to McNeil? Wait here. I fire him. I don't believe it. i am go tell the calves. <laughs> you just ate him. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh no!
I heard that a skeleton was recently discovered at the Torrid area. That's right. Do we have the body check reason yet? The victim is male, about 50 years old. You were dead for six months. Have we known the victim identity? No. Police are still looking for more clue at the scene. Hmm. Lost that information. We have found five more skeleton in the lake. Huh? This is a very serious case. There's no disappearance report recently. The incident mm. occurs on New Year Eve, so I think the victims are related to each other. Maybe mm. they're from the same family. The witnesses were all tourists, so there wasn't much information. Let's put a search note to see if there's anything new. Everyone, mm. clean up and look for more clues. What do you have? The victims were all murdered in the same way. Mm. All the victims were shot to death, but there is something unusual. What it is? After having murdered the target, the killer used sharp object to cut the body apart to get the flesh. The remaining bond were thrown into the lake. How crude. I heard that someone came to report a disappearance. Come check it out. Okay. So you lost contact with your brother's family over half a year ago? Yes, the last time I contacted my brother was on New Year's Eve. Why did you report it to the police? I was living abroad until when I searched for information, I found out that my brother had sold the restaurant to someone else and moved away. After mm. hearing about the case, I immediately returned, hoping to find my brother. Can you provide us with the details of your brother's family? I have it with me right here. Have you ever contacted the person who bought your brother's restaurant? I did, but he said he didn't know where my brother had gone. Thank you, we will do our best. Hello, what can I have you with? I need to ask you some questions about my new family. Okay, come inside. Who did you buy the restaurant from? Ray McNeil sold me the restaurant. Do you know where the McNeil family has moved to? I don't know. Since the McNeil family moved away, have their friends or cousin come here looking for them? They don't have anyone familiar or that live here anymore. Thank you. What's going on with McNeil family? If you have any information about them, please let me know. Of course. Have you been working here for a long time? I've been working here for three months. It's crowded here. Is there only one waiter? There were two other people before. They were immigrants, but they suddenly quit it. Have you mm. seen anything unusual while working here? The meat here is different from regular meat. The owners say it ought to meat. Have you ever been into the food processing area? No, <laughs> only the boss is allowed to get in there. Kemia, okay, go get some hamburgers for the detective. Okay. A few moments later. If it's good, please come back and support our restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Did you get anything new? We went to the restaurant to check, but haven't collected anything yet. What did you bring back there? The restaurant owner offered us some hamburgers. <laughs> Mmm, yummy. <laughs> These are delicious. Don't you eat it? Do you have any new information? DNA verification show that the victims are members of McNay family. Hmm. Follow me. I give you the fight. Okay. Hmm. What do you say to the police today? He's just asked me some information about the restaurant. How did he answer? I would just say what I know. Anything else? He asked about the processing area. I told him I didn't know. Okay, <laughs> Nigel, you can go home now. Yes, thank you. Bye bye! Would you like to see the processing area? <laughs> huh? <laughs> The police have asked people around the Gourmet Corner restaurant and got some information. Since the restaurant was taken over by Paul Mahit, sales have increased continuously. Even though he had just owed the restaurant for half a year, Paul Mahit has fired many employees. Have you mm. been able to contact the employees who got fired? They are mm. all illegal immigrants, so we can't find any information. Yesterday I interviewed a restaurant employee. She said that inside the restaurant there was a processing area, but Paul didn't allow employee to get in there. Let's mm. go to the restaurant and check again. Okay. 
Hello, what's up, guys? Why is the employee I met yesterday? She quit it already. No way. Why did she quit? Her mother is seriously ill. She had to go home and take care of her. Can you give us her information? I don't know. Can we check your food preparation area? The restaurant is busy right now. Can you come back in the evening? Okay. We'll be here tonight. <laughs> Hello. Do you often come here? Yes. I am a regular customer of the restaurant. Do you know the previous owner of the restaurant? The restaurant previous owner were the McNeil family. Do you know where the McNeil family went? I don't know. I just know they sold the restaurant to Palmer Hitch. You know Palmer Hitch? He lives here and often gambles with me and McNeil family. Is there any conflicts between Powell and the McNeil family? Ray McNeil wants lot gambling and owe Powell a large amount of money. Paul once told me that Ray McNeil had promised to transfer the restaurant to Paul if he could not repay the debt. Thank you. Do you know information about the owner of the Garment Kano restaurant? I do not know. Do you often come here to eat? Yes, since the day I moved here, I often eat at the restaurant. The restaurant seemed crowded. There are delicious hamburgers here. The boss had a special recipe. Did you see anything unusual at the restaurant? Restaurant staff often change and there are times when the owner is the only one serving. Thank you! Palmer Hitch, are you there? You keep watch outside and call for reinforcement. I'll go inside and check. Yes. <laughs> Stop right now. What are you going to do? You were too curious. Huh? Are you okay? I'm okay. How many people have you murdered? About five people. They are my employees. Why did you do that? Because I don't want to pay them. After killing the victims, how did you dispose of their bodies? I cut up the coals and threw them everywhere. As for the McNeil family, you murdered them and dumped their bodies in the lake. I don't do that. You murder the victims and then you human flesh up hamburger feeling. Ah! Ah! I see you later. Take him back to your cell. You are a murderer and dismember, right? This damn guy used human flesh at hamburger feeling. Do you know we ate those damn hamburgers? Huh? According to the third result, a total of 15 victims were murdered by him. The other same result showed that the victims were murdered with guns and axes. Then this member, there's one more thing. I don't know if I should say it or not. Please explain. The ties of meat in the hamburger patty were determined to be human meat. Are you serious? Yes. Oh no. It's terrible. Palmer Hitch was just attacked by prisoner in his cell. He said he wanted to meet you to give a statement. You're ready to confess completely? If I go out there, I will definitely be killed. Who is your first victim? The McNeil family. They owe money and promised that if they couldn't pay, they would transfer the restaurant to me. But then they went back on their work. Who is the next victim? The guy who supply ingredients to the restaurant. <laughs> he was curious like you, so I deal with him. Please continue. Then there were my employees. <laughs> to save money on salaries, I kill them all. The last victim is Kemia. You almost were the last victim. How do you dispose of the cops? <laughs> 
I used the meat as chemical feeling, and the rest I threw them everywhere. Do you feel disgusted doing this? All of them <laughs> deserve to die. You will pay the price for your actions. The verdict had been arranged for Palmer Hitch. I certainly wouldn't dare eat a hamburger. The police chef went through the psychological treatment after the incident. Palmer Hitch, 50 years old, guilty of murder, violating a corpse, robbery, sentenced to death. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Thompson, come here. Yeah, okay. Why did you get me here? We have to have our own fun too. Let's enjoy the year and break. How do you feel here? Great! Sarah came down! Let me explain! Shut up! You're the worst! Hmm. It's normal. Let's have fun! <laughs> Just listen to me, I don't know who she is! You're the worst! Stop following me! Curtis, I've been looking for you! Why did you call me? Who are you? I'm Rose, and who are you? Oh no! You're such a bastard! Please, let me explain! I told you to stop looking for me! I told you, Curtis is not good for you. Mom, stop saying that. All he does is lie to you. Don't be foolish. Huh? Sarah, I have something to tell you. Mom, don't let him in. You should go home. Sarah doesn't want to see you. <gasps> Let's see how long he can stay out there. I'll go sleep first. Sebra, Sebra. Sebra, hmm. listen to me. What do you want to say after all those things? Then you laughed. I met you so much. Hmm. So I went to the bar to get drunk, and then I accidentally met her there. Hmm. I swear, I only met her once. I don't know why she had my phone number. <laughs> okay, I forgive you this time. <laughs> When do you have to leave for work? I have a fly in two days. So let's enjoy this time together. <laughs> I would bet you so much. Just wait for me. I'll be back in half a month. Don't forget to get the goods for me. And you, don't go game playing. Don't go with another girls. I know. Be careful on your way. <laughs> I once again. You're lucky. <sighs> we'll play a game next time. I gotta go. Okay. You look like the one fighting with his girlfriend we saw that night. That gun probably broke up with him. No wonder why he's so lucky. Hello. Sir, you want to withdraw all your cash? Yes! This huh. morning I transferred $1,000 to wrong customer. Poor you. You have to pay it back by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Shots the bad luck. Okay. Look like you just gave me a thousand dollar extra. How can I contact you? Just call me. Okay. <laughs> so you asking me out to say thank you? Yes. Do you have a lover yet? I'm currently single. So as I, my name is Curtis. Glad to see you. My name is Lisa. What do you do now? I'm a businessman. It's hard for me to have free time like this. Am I bothering you? Not at all. You're giving me a great time. <laughs> Please, come in. Wow! <laughs> you live here alone? I actually live with my eyes. Why? After we broke up, she didn't have anywhere to go, so I let her stay here. So where is she now? She's a fly attendant, so she barely home. 
Don't mind that much, because you're about to be the new owner here. Are you serious? <laughs> of course, my love. <laughs> Don't you have to go to work today? No. What's wrong? My business has been going down. I need to raise some money immediately. How much do you need? About two thousand dollars. You might save me in the meantime. No, I can't give you your money. Just say I lend you money. No. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello? I'm back. Can you come pick me up? You're already back? Okay, wait a bit. I'll be there. Where are you going? Pack your things. You can't stay here anymore. Why? Is your ex-girlfriend back? Didn't you say you two broke up? Stop talking. Pack your thing and leave before I come back. <sighs> no. Are you tired? How are you at home? I meet you so much. I've been waiting for news from you. Really? Really? Did you get the goods for me? Yes, <laughs> don't worry. I'm tired. Let's go home first. Okay. What's <laughs> up? Who the hell are you? Why haven't you moved out yet? I've already packed my things, but she is the one getting out of here, not me. How dare you to pack up my things? You're such a bastard. We break up here. Listen to me. I only let her in because I wanted to get her money to pay for the good. What are you saying? You bastard. Give me my money back. You idiot. You gave me the money by yourself. How dare you trick me? I will report you to the police for drug dealing. Stop her. Stop it. It's like they're always fighting inside that house. I saw a girl move in last week. Should we call the police? No, don't get in trouble. Okay. Huh. Oh no! What do we do now? She's dead. It's all her fault. Should we call the police? Do you want to go to jail, you idiot? Then what should we do with this coast? I know. Follow me. <laughs> hey, do you smell anything? Yes, horrible, like a dead animal. He's mm. coming from Curtis' house. Mm. I can't stand it. We have to go over there and see what happened. Okay. Hey, Curtis, your house smells really weird, you know. My girlfriend dog just died. We're taking care of the body. Sorry for the inconvenience. Where are you going? <laughs> yes, we will go on a trip for a while. My girlfriend been really sad for her dog. <sighs> Goodbye. My daughter been missing for a week now. Huh? When was the last time you saw her? On New Year's Eve, she told me she had a new boyfriend and promised to introduce him to me back home. Before she left, did she leave any messages? She came home to pack her things and said she was going to live with her boyfriend. Do you know the information about that boyfriend? I've never met him before. Don't worry, we will investigate. 911, what your emergency? Okay, we will be there in minutes. Is there a new case? Someone reported they've been suffering a strange smell from the neighbor's house for a whole week. There might be clues for the missing gun case. Let's go there and check. Okay. <coughs> You're the one who called the police? Yes, the smell is coming from this house. Who is the house owner? It was Curtis, but he left a few days ago. Do you know where he went? He said he would go on a trip with his girlfriend for a while. Guys, get in to check the house. Huh? 
Oh no! Hey you! Hey you! Huh? <laughs> Tell us what you know about Curtis. Curtis is a young man without a stable job and such a womanizer. Please be specific. He had lots of girlfriends. He brought girls home to live with him, and they all left after a while. Do you know this girl? Yes, I saw her move in with Curtis two weeks ago. When was the last time you saw her? About a week ago. Curtis and his girlfriend returned home, and they all had a big fight. After that day, you haven't seen her anymore. Yes, I thought she left. Thank you. Have you got the result from body checking yet? According to DNA comparison with Mrs. Clara, the body would identify at least a guy, 25 years old. What was the cause of death? She was hit in the head by a hard object, then a murder, you asked it, to enroll her body. That's true! The time of the death is the same with the day the witnesses saw an argument at Curtis' house. <sighs> so we can say that the killers are Curtis and his girlfriend. I got Curtis information. It's him! You know him? We have seen him in bars and casinos. He has many criminal records for drug dealing. Make a wanted announcement immediately. Yes, sir. <sighs> yes! Huh? Oh, no! Let's go! Oh, no! Curtis Roa and Sarah Lambrusco, you are arrested. Tell the truth. I didn't kill anyone. So tell me what happened that day. It was Curtis who killed her. You then help him to get rid of the body? He forced me to do it, otherwise you would kill me. If you were sincere, you would be generous with your guilt. I have told you all I know. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Do you have anything else to say? I have nothing. You are the one who directly murdered the victim. Yes. How did you do to get rid of the body? I bought a tron, then Sarah and I can release a body into it. After that, I went to my asset and poured it on the body to make it melt quickly. You can't handle the whole cost by doing just that. Yes, I cut up the cost. Then Sarah and I threw the remaining part into the landfill. Why did you hide the weapon? I threw weeks away when we were getting rid of the body. How did you know about using acid to dispose the coal? I said the method online. Right. Mm. Do you have anything to ask? How did you know I would show up at the bank? A former co-worker of Lisa recognized you and told us. At last. <laughs> They all admit it. The case is over. This is the first time I've ever encountered such a scary case. Either a decision for the guilt yet? There's a sentence for them already. The drug enforcement team also provide additional evidence that Curtis and Sarah were drug dealers. Curtis Rower, 30 years old, guilty of murder and trespassing on coves, drug dealing and possessing, is sentenced to death. Sarah Lambrusco, 27 years old, guilty of accessory to murder, violating corpse, and drug dealing, it taking life sentence.